Hey, if uh, there were simple things that you could do to make sure that you didn't go blind or didn't lose a vital organ, you'd do them, right? Well, the truth is people with type 2 diabetes are at risk for a host of health complications, and some of them may have uh, had the power to stop this disease right in its tracks. Today is Diabetes Alert Day. We're going to find out more right now from Dr. David Hansen with Foxhall uh, Internist here in Washington, D.C., also a diabetes specialist. Good morning, Dr. Hansen. Good morning, Allison. Thanks for joining us. Thanks um, for having me. And today is Diabetes Alert Day day, still True. the need for a day such as this. Yes, unfortunately so. And we have a situation in the U.S. right now which is worsening all the time. We used to say that it was a, a future problem, mm -hmm. that risk of diabetes was increasing steadily. Now we're there. It's a substantial problem in the U.S. We have an estimated at least one in ten people in the U.S. now with diabetes. That's unbelievable. It's a tremendous number if yes. you think about it. It's at least 25 million people, probably closer to 26, 27. Wow. And most of those are type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. meaning and what risk the, come with type 2 diabetes? Well, diabetes either type will have the risk of end organ complications, mm -hmm. increased risk of death, uh, shortened longevity but it can really affect all systems, the hearts, the eyes, the nervous system, mm -hmm. the kidneys, those are the main areas we worry about, but cardiova cardiovascular risk in general relating to stroke, other end organ damage is a consistent problem regardless of the type. And if led untreated, mm -hmm. if, if remains untreated, this mm -hmm. could lead to death unnecessarily. Absolutely, so. absolutely. Okay. And the trouble too is that although there are some symptoms early on that some diabetics develop, there are many who don't, and many mm -hmm. people go for years either in a pre-diabetic state or the true diabetic state and have no idea that it's going on. Uh, they haven't been properly screened. Some people haven't, unfortunately, seen doctors about this. And sometimes at the time of diagnosis, you're already at an advanced stage. You right. may already have heart disease, may already have eye, eye damage and kidney damage as well. So it becomes very important for this, particularly for the type 2 uh, to have early screening, early detection, mm -hmm. and then intervention uh, as early as possible. We have some really important, there are a lot of them, um, so at home, I mean, bear with us, there are a lot of these, but hey, mm -hmm. what we're talking about is knowing to say, am I at risk for, for uh, this condition? Right. And we want to go through some of them now. Um, impaired glucose tolerance. Now, how do you right. know if you have impaired glucose tolerance? Right. Well, symptomatically, you may not. Uh, there are some people early on, before they have diabetes, who develop this hypoglycemic mm -hmm. type sense, have a large carbohydrate meal, for instance, have a large meal in general, and then feel kind of sluggish afterward. And people may call that hypoglycemia. It's really not always a true hypoglycemic state. Uh, but there are some people who drop their blood sugars excessively after eating a meal like that and then later develop diabetes. Mm -hmm. That's not the most consistent pattern, though. Most people with impaired fasting glucose or prediabetes, as we say, uh, may have no idea that this is going on. Right. And it's only through blood tests and uh, you know, tests that we can do either in the office. I think you're going to mention some other options yeah. as well that uh, you have the firm evidence that you're dealing with the problem. Let's just go through them as we are running out of time. Mm -hmm. Over 45 years old, a family history of diabetes. If you're overweight, mm -hmm. you don't exercise. Exactly. If you had gestational um, diabetes uh, that when, when a lot of us when we're pregnant, um, you know, we're just, uh oh, what am I doing in here with this long test? I am right. one of those people because mm -hmm. I had a baby yep. that weighed nine pounds or over. That's another um, lead, you know, a factor that might uh, lead you to go to your doctor's office and get checked out. And if your family background is black, Hispanic, Asian, or Native American, but there's a real mm -hmm. easy way online uh, that, that you talk about to, to go in and plug some of your stats in. Tell us about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. There's, there's a website that uh, we've set up, uh, stopdiabetes.diabetes.org, which has a lot of the information we're discussing here today, as well as additional information on how you can get yourself screened. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the best opportunity you have is to establish care with an internist, with a primary care doctor. Uh, good for preventive purposes in general, but particularly for picking up these early detection signs. A uh, simple blood test done in a fasting state can tell you where your blood sugar is, uh, can estimate your risk, and you're right, some of those things on your list you can yeah. do something about. Genetics, not so much. But being overweight, being sedentary, those are big opportunities to intervene. And today is Diabetes Alert Day. Why not uh, check it out? That information is on our website, myfoxdc.com. That online test that Dr. David Hansen from Fox Hall Internist spoke up. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah, you're welcome.